Hi, this is Wukas from the Blender Smoothie channel and today I want to show you how to create a 3D model from an AI generated image. But wait, you may ask, it was already done on your previous video. So what's new? Oh, today we are going to focus on uh, humans. So let's get started. We will start uh, from uh, freeway 2 like the like the last time and of course you can use any image generator that you like and I will put a prompt T pose of a Polish football sports fan on a plain plain white background and I will choose a photo style because the realistic shadows may be very uh, may help to create a realistic model and I have also written the T pose phrase on the beginning because I want someone stay standing uh, with every part of the body visible and we have these three uh, free samples uh, it may be okay, it may be okay, I will save it, uh, but I will generate once again and see maybe something better will come up. And 3, 2, 1 and we have a new images, so it's more like a football player, I think, than, uh, <laughs> than a sports fan, but maybe it will do. So I will save it. This is right. This is very good. I prefer the typos, but this time it won't generate it. I have a previous generated image right here uh, where the typos was understood correctly but we'll try to use that that uh, so right now i'm going to um, hugging face this is a very cool website with uh, a lots of models and uh, so-called spaces where you can use uh, a lots of different ai generated models uh, to do a bunch of stuff so I recommend you to visit and see all those spaces and here on the icon clothed human digitization model we have to uh, press here and send maybe drag and drop send our generated image and just click submit image it will take a while and I recommend you to select this icon but as I remember uh, it may mm, generate, it, generate icon by default so we will wait using the magic of processing we have those images generated and also 3D model and I think it came oh it came very well of course the details of a face uh, isn't perfect and also the neck is not perfect but uh, I will download this model right now and as you can see uh, we can make it textured very easily so right now in the blender I have to go to in the file menu and press import and select wavefront obj file then from my downloads I will open the obj file generated by AI then we could see 
that this model is not textured. But we can go to the shading tab, add a new material, uh, and then in the shading tab you have to create a new node called a color attribute and and connect the color to the base color so as you can see the model is textured only from the from on the front of course and as you can see also it's not a texture it's not an image texture it's just the attribute of the polygons so every vertex uh, has some color assigned as you can see the vertex here is brighter the vertex here is darker and there is no texture um, I can shade it smooth but there is a way to make a little bit higher quality texture to this model so right now I'm going to the UV editing because we have to add a UV map select everything pressing A and create a new texture uh, it will be a 4k texture and I will call it a sports fun okay this is the empty texture and right now I'm going to shading add uh, image texture connect the nodes and select our sports fun texture here then go to the uh, UV editing press A press U and press smart UV project uh, maybe I will do it and do it again but with some island margin like that okay that's better but uh, as you can see it creates uh, a lot of these small islands and it will be much better if you have a time to for example uh, mark some seams and cut the model as you'd like but for the uh, preview purposes of this tutorial it will do okay so right now I'm going to uh, texture paint align my view to the Y axis by pressing Y and right now in, uh, in these texture properties I'm going to add a new texture for my brush and open the original uh, image generated by AI open that image as you can see it's right here and go then go to the active tool tab and right now here we have a texture option here is our texture and I want I don't want tiled mapping I want a stencil okay so holding the shift and right mouse button you can scale it up pressing only the right mouse button you can move it uh, right like that and if we could make I will zoom 
everything precisely to have the best resolution. Okay, a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, something like something like that. And then you can paint your model with the original texture. And as you can see, the texture is painted here. I will go to the layout to see the result. And this is the this is our result. You can of course uh, paint also the back. Uh, manually creating the texture and on the texture tab you can for example with this smear to repair those black spots and you may say that this is not a good quality mesh not good topology you may say that this is not a good quality texture. But what if I want put that model in the background? Won't be easier to put so-called billboard, I mean a plane with a background, a, a plane with a texture of dead human, uh, like in old games? No, it wouldn't be better, because this model is reacting on the light so it will be always better and always more realistic to have even poor quality but 3d model than the flat billboard so if that's all for today and if it was helpful for you please click like and subscribe for more thank you for watching bye